So I have a patient that called in. He has been taking some steroids that a friend gave him at the gym, and now he's suffering a little bit from erectile dysfunction and wants to know if there's anything that we can do to kind of help him. It could be psychological. There's other patients that had like no erection. So we have to take a deeper dive. Is it a vascular issue? Is it a neurological issue? The hormonal aspect of it is far and away the most common cause of people's ED functions. Guys that are typically, they start doing steroids from the gym. They never had any screening exams. They don't even know know what their real testosterone was they just see like the guy that's giving it to them looks big and buff and they're like I want to look like that guy so they start doing stuff in the gym that they shouldn't be they do things to lower their estrogen those can lead to having erectile dysfunction because estrogen plays a super super important role in sexual function and sexual desire and is there a difference between steroids and testosterone and how it can play a role yeah, the, the anabolic steroids, yeah, those are like the winstrel, the trembolone type of things, much different than what we do, like the bioidentical hormone replacement. Is this something that is reversible? We can reverse it. Every patient is individual. Some could take months, some could take a year, but it all depends on how much you've abused and what your blood work is looking like and how much intervention you're going to need. So I'll be able to give him a call and let him know that that's something we can come up with solutions here in office and... Absolutely, he needs to come in and get his blood checked and see what, what else he may need.